Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at a gas engine soft wash skid assembly. So this particular skid is a 48 by 48 platform on the bottom. So it's perfect for fitting in the back of a truck or a van, if you have an enclosed area, or if you, even if you just wanna add it to a flatbed or open trailer setup. Um, it's compact, but it gives you the capability of adding a soft wash system or chemical application system if you need to. Um, this one's a little bit different from some of the other skids that we built, so I'll go over all the details. Um, the hose reels, we have our Titan hose reels. They're aluminum framed with stainless steel manifolds. 200 foot of half inch soft wash hose on top and 100 foot of the three quarter inch Flexilla hose on the bottom. Um, they have locking uh, pin locks to keep the hose reels in place, but we also put locking connectors on the front. So if it is an open application, your hoses are staying secure, or if it's going in an enclosed application, it just kind of looks nice and tidy. Uh, we use stainless steel brackets to stack the hose reels, um, so they are also corrosion resistant. We have our Honda GX200 engine with the AR45 soft wash pump. Um, these do have the gauges already on them, so you know exactly what pressure range you're applying in, and you won't over pressurize the pump. You've got your regulator here to help adjust that as well. Um, we have this hooked up to one of our Midwest Hydro Mixers. So this is where it's a little bit different than some of our other soft wash systems. So this application, we needed to get more water and really not as much bleach. So we have two 55 gallon tanks tied together to make one uh, 110 gallon water tank essentially. Um, so it's feeding into one tank, but they are tied together so they'll actually fill simultaneously. And then we have a 20 gallon soap tank or bleach tank, whatever you're trying to blend through this system that you wanna mix with water. So it's still treated as a proportioner system. It doesn't have a batch mix or anything. You're still pulling whatever amount of water and then whatever amount of soap you want through there. So if you want to apply bleach, you could do just bleach. You could add a little bit of surfactant if you wanna put your surfactant in there and just regulate it with the one valve or we've had people use these for all different kinds of situations. If you don't want to use bleach, you can blend it with any other detergents that you have. So that being said, uh, we have our flush valve down here. So whenever you're pulling from the bleach tank that's on here, you can flip this and you can also pull water through it so you can have full flow of water as a rinse through the system as well. Uh, we've got filters to filter the water before it goes into your water tank to keep debris out of your water tank. We've also got a filter before it goes through uh, your soft wash pump to keep any debris that manages to make its way in there or any algae that might grow in there over time if it sits out for a while to keep that from getting inside your pump. So very easy to change. We put uh, ball valves on there so that if your tank is full, you can quickly shut that ball valve off, cut off the water flow, uh, when the equipment is not running and check your filters if you feel like there's a little bit of a low flow situation. Um, that being said, like I said, 55 gallon tanks, you can kind of see the back side of everything here. And uh, Sorry, there's a lot of noise. We have a lot of construction going on and loud people. <laughs> and with the aluminum banding uh, that we do ourselves whenever we put all these together helps us make it a little bit more of a custom type skid um, gives us option to change things up a little bit whenever we do a lot of this stuff ourselves uh, this does come with a red wash down gun that's quick connected so you can take it off um, easily without having to drag everything through uh, through the grass as you're going along and then you can see here how uh, these tanks are tied together for that water fill and then just moving our way around the rest of the skid um, if you guys have any questions on this, this particular setup will be available on our website, 3rpressurewashers.com. Um, if you're on YouTube, the link to it will be in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions beyond that, feel free to give us a call and we can go over anything. Thank you.